Okay, we're going to do some more coding today, the old-fashioned way when I learned. Uh, so you had a cheat sheet. Uh, this is a really nice one. This is an 808085. Uh, all of the commands that the microprocessor have it has a bunch of move commands. So you can move registers to registers, or move an immediate thing to a register, or point to point to memory and put that in, into one of the registers. So these are all moves. Then you have uh, loads, uh, which you can stuff things into the registers. Uh, we have things like input and output for ports, interrupts. Uh, we have arithmetic, add, subtract. Uh, there's no multiplier divide in an 8080. There's jumps. You can do jumps on zero, jump of, jump of the accumulator, or jump of the zero, I should say, jump of the zero flag is set, jump of the zero flag is not set carry, not carry, uh, parity, sign, and stuff. It's a bunch of uh, uh, conditionals uh, for jumps. Logicals, there's rotates, and compares, and ands, and ors, and all that other kind of stuff. So we're going to use this, and we're going to write a program. So uh, here is our program. All right. Um, so the first thing we have to do is we have to set up our I.O. port as output. So we're going to move FF into register A, and then we're going to output that. The output command always takes whatever's ever in register A and puts it out. Here it's going to put it out onto port 3. That sets a command to the, to the uh, 8755 that we want this particular port uh, to be uh, uh, an output port, and it'll be output, output 1. Now we want to have an increment loop. So we're going to use the D register to keep track of our of our number, okay? So we're going to increment D. We're going to have a loop here, so we're going to increment D every single time, okay? And then we're going to take the value of D, shove it into A, and then output it. So whatever D is will be displayed, okay? And then uh, we're going to have a delay loop. So this is a comment uh, delay. Okay, so here's a comment. Uh, we're going to decrement a register pair, the BC 16-bit register pair. We're going to decrement that. Now, we, we don't know whether that... Uh, we're going to go around and around and around until it's zero. And we don't know if it's zero because it, the 16-bit uh, 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 register pairs are, are a bit tricky. So we have to compare it manually. So we're going to take the B value, throw it into A. We're going to take the C value, or it with A, and if those two things are not zero, we're going to loop around and around and around. So both B has to be zero and C has to be zero for this to come through. And then it'll hit a jump instruction. It'll come up and increment the next D value. So it will increment D. It'll wait. It'll increment D. It'll wait. Increment D. It'll wait. Okay. So let's see if it works. All right. Let's take a look at our uh, program. Okay, so these are all the uh, uh, these are all of the hex values for everything we're going to do. All right, so this is a move immediate to uh, FF, and then we're going to output that to port three. I skipped one, and then one four is decrement D, seven uh, A is move D to A. Uh, we're going to output that to port one. We're going to a uh, zero B is a decrement the register pair BC. Uh, and I skipped ahead again. I wish you could go back in this thing. Uh, these keys are just not, they're flaky. 7A, B, D3 to port 1. Then 0B is decrement the BC register. Move B to A. Or with C. Jump 0 uh, to FF. I mean, to 0820, uh, then C3 uh, is jumped back to 04. So this is 08 and this is 04. Uh, and then if we run the program, it's all right, here's our LEDs. I'm going to do a reset and I'm going to run the program at 2000. And there we go. It counts. It counts. All right. So uh, that's the way you had to do it on this particular machine. You had to write 
assembly by hand using hexadecimal values. You could write it out mnemonically and then you had to go supply, use the cheat sheet to supply your own hex values. And then you had to type the hex values in and then you could run it. And then you could get a little program that uh, has a counting and a delay loop. So each one of those LEDs is a 16-bit counter uh, going to zero. So there you go. Back in the good old days. Remember the good old days? <laughs> I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back there. It was very, very painful, but it was so exciting. It was so exciting because you had your own computer and you were talking hardware language and you were learning how the bits went around and everything. And you could put this into products and things. And, and then later on, they developed assemblers and cross assemblers. And uh, you could then put the program in memory and it was very, very exciting at the time. <laughs> Not anymore.